Welcome back to Mac 2024. We're here on the Mate Tooling Solutions Center. We've got a jam-packed video for you today, just about sheet metal fabrication. That's correct. And loads of brand new developments here for Mac 2024, Craig. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to start off here with Wheeler Tooling. Uh, a lot of you are familiar with wheeler clamping systems uh, and their tooling. Uh, but there's a new stage of uh, evolution into tooling now. So you're used to the push button, quick release, loading tooling. Uh, but now we're ready to go with the robotic systems. So you can use your cobot system to come in, to locate into the area here, and then the robot would load. So we're moving forward in the industry. We need to embrace uh, 4.0, we need to embrace robots, we need to have the, the brightest and the smartest generation coming in and we want to set them up right with using robots and, and rather manual systems. Absolutely, and so you, you said there's, there's a, let's take a little step back for those who yep. aren't familiar with Wheeler for example, yep. this is a kind of slide in press brake tool that we're used to. Yep. There's, a, there's, a, there's a little kind of a little innovation here yep. with from the Wheeler which has been around for a long time. Very long time, you'll probably find it on some of your tools already because it might be have a different manufacturer's name on it, but basically it means you can vertically load and set your tools. Rather, rather than sliding in all the way. Absolutely right, yeah. So reducing a lot of wear and tear on the machine, a lot of wear and tear on the operators. The, the Wheeler system is it's well known, well liked, but it's the innovation that's really coming on now. Absolutely, let's talk about um, automation. Yeah. And why would you, for, for those uh, machine shops, uh, press break shops who are, look, who are using this kind of tooling or this style tooling, yeah. why would they move to actually engaging in a robot when they've got a, a human a press break operator who's perfectly skilled yeah. Yeah. and able to, to load the tooling up as well as set, as set it up and get the, the process running to make good components? Yeah, I think uh, you, you've hit it on the, on the head there, Ron, uh, because What's basically happened is we're still in the mindset in the UK of that um, the batches aren't very long, they're very difficult to program, uh, the setters need to be there and, 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 and have the, the big built-in 20 years of skills. But unfortunately these people are retiring now, we have to automate. We have to do it, uh, we do it in all manner of things. And if you want the, the, the next generation coming into cheap metal, you know, these people are having robots delivering their food. They're used to having drones. They will appreciate being able to run a, a, a robot that will be able to set a machine. It's just going to become standard. Absolutely. People will be expecting robots in their workshop. workshop oh, absolutely. Soon. Yeah, you will. OK, so to future proof your business in uh, press break operation, yep. to start look at these kinds of Yeah, tools. absolutely. Yep. It's called ATC. So you have your standard wheel and profile. You just ask for it for ATC. Perfect. Very um, simple. Let's keep going. So okay. we've talked about press breaking yeah. quite a lot. Yeah. There is also punching and sheet metal fabrication. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and this is a lot of products from Mate that, that are so well known in the industry. Yeah. Why are they so well known? Um, and what does a Mate punch mean? <laughs> a Mate punch means longevity. You know, we've been going, they've been going since 1962. We have tools here. I personally guarantee these tools for seven years. You know, I, I never have to make new tools. They just, they work, they do exactly what they're supposed to do. Brilliant, and they're, 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 that's been expected for a long time, and so they're, they're gonna be, they've been around for a long time, probably gonna be, a, be around oh, for a long absolutely. time. Absolutely, yeah. Um, not much innovation here necessarily, because no. they're just so well known. Yeah. There's some definite innovation right here though. Oh yeah, absolutely. What are we looking at? So basically we've got a forming tool that you would normally have on your punching machine. We now retrofit it to set straight onto your press brake. So if you're scaling down the number of punches you have to maybe have some more lasers, do not throw away your tools because we can utilize them onto your press brake. And for a low cost investment of the holders, you can then put your existing forming tools back onto the machine. That must save so much money. People have got loads of that punch tooling. Most of this is quite bespoke to the it's application bespoke, as well. Yeah. There's a quite funny little application uh, here This as is well, a, right? a, an application for uh, shredding peanuts. So, so quite a very a, tasty know. application. This <laughs> yeah. One. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, and what I find fascinating as well is the move from punching to laser. Yep. You're still going to have press breaks though in sheet metal shops Correct. up and down the country. So you'll still be able to use this probably Absolutely. in the future. Absolutely. Your investment carries on. Yeah, you know, absolutely. it's not a one machine deal. You know, our tools last forever. You might as well use them on the next stage of your manufacturing. Yeah, absolutely. And in terms of tools lasting forever as well, yep. we've got another product here that helps yep. those tools continue, um, but continue in-house. Yeah, absolutely. I think if you're a, a serious sheet metal shop, you'll, you'll understand about tool sharpening and the benefits of making your tools last so much longer. So we have the uh, SV Metal AMB 5T, um, which is a a tool sharpener that can do punches, it can do eyes, it can do shears on punches. It's just a really simple, quick system that you just close, 
say how much you want to take off, press start. So 0.12 mil, it's going to come and grind it off or cut it off. It's going to grind it off and it should take about three and a half minutes. Perfect. You've got a perfectly sharp tool there. and that's Perfectly sharp your, tool. Your tools can last in-house a lot yep. longer than if you had to outsource the Correct. Re grinding. absolutely. And you're reducing your costs by not having to send them out all the time. And you're in charge of your inventory. You make the operator in charge of, if, if, of, of, of the product, the tool in. You won't go wrong. Perfect. So for sheet metal shops up and down the country, whether you're press breaking, there's innovation, whether you're punching, there's innovation, or whether you're using press break machines with punch tools, there's innovation there as well. So check out Make Tooling Solutions in the UK and Ireland. Thank you very much.